Given a list of name item pair list, write a function common items to create a list of name one, name two, item frequency triples, where item frequency is the number of common items shared between the two names. Make sure all possible name pairs are included. There are no duplicate new name pairs and there are no pairs of the same name and the order of the names is alphabetical. Hi everybody, I'm Basa Latif. I'm a lead data scientist. I have five years of work experience for a variety of startups, worked at a nonprofit, and I also teach. I'm a professor of data science and, and computer science at Loyola Marymount University and California State University, Long Beach. They're giving you a list of, of pairs. So each pair is going to be a name and an item, and then the output should be each name and pair of names, and then the, the number of items that they have overlapping. So these are the requirements, right? That all possible names are included. There are no duplicate names, and there are no pairs of the same name. And this has to be alphabetically ordered. Here we have an input list of a name, Susan, and then maybe it's her favorite utensil, right? So Susan, spoon, but then Susan also uses a fork. Mark uses a fork and Mark also uses a spoon. And Mark also uses a plate. But Lily only uses a plate. We want to return each name, two pair of names, and then how many items they have in common. So like Susan and Mark have spoon and fork both in common, right? So that would be Susan, Mark, Susan, and then two is a frequency, right? So... Here we have the output. It's it's alphabetically ordered, right? So Lily and Mark is one because they both share a plate. Lily and Susan have nothing in common, so zero. And then Mark and Susan have two items in common. Okay, great. So I've looked at this problem, right? But this is like a you know fairly challenging problem, right? It's going to test your ability to to use data structures and algorithms in Python. So let's let's take a look at how we we need to approach this so i'm going to write a note here in the in the beautiful area in the interview query editor pseudo code i'm going to say step one we want to create a dictionary name and items of you item and and let's just call it items right so Right, this is actually a, a list of tuples, right? In Python, a tuple is created by parentheses. So these are tuples, but, and then it's wrapped in a list. So we can't really do this problem in this sort of data structure, but a da dictionary data structure will be helpful for, for this. And, and the way I know that is I've solved lots of problems like these before. And, and just once you understand Python, right, you're going to understand that a dictionary because it keeps track of key value. So we're, we're interested in the keys here, which is the name. And then we want to access the values associated. We want to create a list of values associated with each, each person. So, okay, that's step one. Step two is going to be to order the dictionary, right? Because one of the requirements is that it has to be alphabetical. Um, so we have to alphabetize our output. So we're going to order the dictionary, or we could even say alphabetize. We're going to use the sorted function for this, the dictionary, and initialize our output list. And then our third step is going to be to loop through the dictionary and generate the and not and add values to our output list. Okay, so that's going to be a good structure for us to follow for this problem. Let's look at the, so we're going to go here. Item dict is our initial dictionary. We're going to loop through our pair list. So for P in pair list. So remember, pair list is a list of tuples, right? So each element P that we're looping over is going to be a new a new tuple, right? So P0 is going to be our, 
so P is going to be our first tuple. And then the, our second tuple is going to be like the second index, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a condition if to, to populate our dict, our item dict. So we're going to say if P0, which means if P0 not in item dict. So if the first element in the tuple is not in our item dictionary, then add it to our item dictionary, right? So then item dict P0 equals P1. Okay, else condition item dict, if it, if, if our, if we've already seen this, so like, look, like first time we iterate through this pair list, Susan is our P0, right, of our first tuple. So Susan is not in our item dict yet. So we append Susan and we append spoon as so Susan is the key and spoon is the value. Then we go through the second tuple in, in this list. And again, we see the name Susan. So we're not going to hit this if block, right? We're going to hit where P0 is in item dict, right? So we're going to actually hit the else block. So in the else block, what do we want to do? We want to say item dict P0 dot append. We want to append the P, P1 value here, right? So this is going to populate our item dictionary. So that's that's step one. So item dict, we're actually creating a list as our value. So we're going to put the value here in the as, as part of a list, right? So it's a key and then a list of values. OK. So our second step now is to sort our keys in alphabetical order. So we're going to say keys equals sorted item dict. And then we're going to say tuple list, which is our output list, is equal to an empty list, right? So, okay, that's step two. Now, step three is for us to loop through the dictionary, the sorted dictionary the sorted dictionary, and then we're going to add the values to our output list. So this is going to be logically a bit, a bit, this is like the very, the toughest part of this problem, I would say. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, loop through our keys, but we're going to use the enumerate function. So the enumerate function in Python is a way to construct a loop where you keep track of the index of the value as well as the value itself. So here i is the the first index, so it's i is going to equal zero. And then k1 is going to be the first value, right? For i and k1, so in i is our index and k1 is our value. So for i, k1 in enumerate keys, that's our initial loop. And then we're going to have an inner loop which is just for K2 in keys. So the, the key thing, the, the key knowledge here is that we're iterating over the each. So our outer loop, right? This loop is looping through each item in our sorted list, right? And then, but we don't care about just the first item. We also want to compare the values to the next item, right? So we care about Lily, but then we also, the next item would be Mark, right? In our alphabet, alphabetically, our next key is Mark. So we want to, we want to check, compare the values of the first item next to the second item. So we are going to now write the logic to append to this tuple list. So we're going to do tuple list dot append. We're going to append K1. That's our initial, our first name. And then we're going to append K2. That's our second name. Now, the toughest part of this problem, we have to figure out how do we get the intersection? How do we get the number of common elements to each key, right? How many, because that's what we care about is how many utensils, right, they have that are the same. So we're going to use the length function, right? And then we're going to convert the first item into a set, right? So item dict K1. So for Lily's item dict, we want to know the length of that, of the value of the value list, right? For, for, for K1. And then we want to find the intersection of the values 
for K2. So we're gonna do K2 and that's our logic, right? So we're gonna run this. Oh, and then, sorry, I forgot one thing, which is we have to return tuple list, right? So return tuple list. Okay, so run the code, oops. Tuple list out of append length set K1. What I need to do is set item dict K1, set item dict K2, unmatch parenthesis, list out of append only takes one argument. Oh, okay, tuple, okay. So the parentheses for this problem is a bit tricky. So we're going to put the this whole thing in parentheses. So K1, K2, length, of set set item length of set item k1 length of... okay so looking at this code right it's saying we're appending this this value right in here which is k1 k2 and then the length of set the set of item dict k1 so for lily that would be plate but for mark that would be fork spoon and plate and then the length of the common elements of those two sets, right? So the common elements in those two sets for Lily and Mark is just plate, right? So we're gonna return, we're gonna append one. So we're gonna append K1. So our output, right, is Lily, Mark, and then one item that they have common to, to them. So this is a very good problem. This is testing your knowledge of dictionaries, of how to loop through a list of tuples, is testing how to add items to a dictionary or append values to a dictionary when the key is already in the dictionary. Then it's testing how to sort a dictionary. And then it's testing how to use the enumerate function to loop through to loop through a dictionary and then also to create a inner loop that loops an index plus one of the initial inner outer loop. And then we have to append to our to our list based off of the first the k1 value, the k2 value, and then the length we do this and ampersand this and operator to find the common elements between two sets. And then we get the length of those the length of the those common items. So we return that tuple list and we pass the test cases and we submit the solution. And we get this wonderful congratulations. And so this is a great problem. I interview query, definitely use this platform to practice your coding skills and practice for data science interviews. Thank you so much.